Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And today we're heading back to the MCU to answer these requests. So a bunch of you have been after an Ultron voice effect it seems. Well, I guess I'd better get to it. Now in order to complete this effect, you have to do your best James Spader impression, which is no mean feat. The guy has an amazing voice that even I struggled with replicating. But for your amusement, here is my attempt. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. Yeah, not much more to say, but... My God. Nevertheless, that's what we're working with. So let's hop into Adobe Audition and get started. Okay guys, here we are in Adobe Audition. I've got my original audio here, so let's have a listen. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. Now I'll be the first to admit, my James Spader impression isn't great, but he has a very unique voice and it's not one I can do very well. So the best I could hope for is nailing the cadence of how he speaks, and I think I've kinda done that. So our first step here is to bring this into a new multi-track session. So let's head up, hit the multi-track button, and then let's call it Ultron Voice. Once that opens, we'll take our recording and drop it in, not once, not twice, but thrice. Anyone who gets that reference, just let me know in the comments. Now our first track here, we'll call our clean track. So all we're gonna do here is just boost the volume up, say two to three decibels, like so. There we go. That way we have a clear, unfiltered pass of our voice work as a bass. Moving on down to our second track, this one we're gonna treat like an effects underlayer. So we'll head over to the effects rack, head to modulation and flanger, or flanger, whatever. And from the drop down menu, we'll just add the default robot setting. Now this effect can overwhelm our clean track above, so what we're going to do is drop the volume on this track, say 5.5 decibels. Let's solo those two layers now and have a listen. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. Not bad, it's getting there. Let's unsolo them and move on down to the third track. There we go. Now for this track, let's head over to the effects rack once more. We'll then head to time and pitch and select pitch shifter. Now all we're going to do here is lower the pitch anywhere from minus 1 to minus 4 depending on your voice. Me personally, I'm going to settle on minus 2. I'll then set the precision to high, the splicing frequency to 47% and the overlapping to 20%. Lastly, we'll add a little bit more bass to really boost this track up. So let's head back to the effects rack, head to filter and EQ and click on FFT filter. So all we'll do here is click on our line right here and give it a big fat peak along the bass, and then bring it right back down. This will give our track a nice bit of bass, as I'm considering this our low register bass track, much like you would have in a song. And you guessed it, just like with our second track, we want to lower the overall volume of this track to make sure our first track is the main thing people hear. So let's lower this track, say, 5.5 decibels as well. There we go. And let's have a listen to that. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. That's sounding pretty good to me, but we're not done yet. Let's start by mixing that down to a single track, and then we'll finish it off. So head up, grab the cursor tool, highlight your three tracks. We'll then right click, head all the way down to export mix down, and select time selection. We now have our mix down, so let's add one more bass boost to the overall track. So we'll head over to the effects rack, filter and EQ, and FFT filter. And it's the exact same step as last time. All we need to do is create a large peak over here to boost the bass like so. Now, let's hit apply and have a listen to our final mix. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. Pretty good. But as we always know, there's another cherry on top to add and that's adding some distortion. As you know, when Ultron first appears to the Avengers, he's in a broken body, so the voice is a little messed up. So in order to achieve that effect, we'll head over to the effects rack, hit Special, Guitar Suite, and from the drop down menu, we're just gonna hit Mix and Mojo. Now, let's listen to that. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You wanna protect the world, but you don't want it to change. 
And there you have it, a quick and easy Ultron voice effect with a distortion variant as well. Add up all those steps and your voice goes from this. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. Utter this. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. Or are this. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. So guys, that's my take on Ultron's voice effect from Avengers Age of Ultron. It's not perfect, but without that buttery James Spader voice work, it's always going to pale in comparison. But just for posterity here, here's the same effects from the tutorial applied to James Spader's voice. It's funny. For the longest time, I've been perfectly comfortable knowing I could die at any moment. I could walk out of this room and be shot in the street. I've always been fine with that. Much better, right? Anyway guys, that is of course my time. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please throw us a like and share it. If you're new around these parts, by all means do the clicky click dance on that subscribe button. I'm gonna stop doing that. We've also got some Marvel related videos on this side, as well as my Patreon info below and the social media crap above my head. But until next time, keep learning.